Aries, welcome to your heart spread. Call it the second half of October heart spread. We're looking at the ethereal visions illuminated tarot. If you want to follow along at home, I pre shuffled. Um, these are big cards. Um, check out Soul Family Read if you don't normally. Uh, it's a daily read I do. So on Mondays, we always do Aries and Taurus. Um, now we do also the I do the uh, uh, singles read. So you have your read here, the heart read. This is for who's on your mind, who's in your heart. Ends up in the shape of a heart. And um, the singles reads if you're totally and completely singles. But the soul family reads a little more manifestation, spirituality, a little less about love and romance exactly. Uh, and it's kind of more personal read for me. I just kind of share it with people. I am trying to do a pretty simple reading, keep it kind of short. So, on a daily basis, uh, Fridays, if you go back and look, I did kind of special reading a little bit longer on the conjunction today, because I'm uh, recording this today, and this goes out for the 11th, uh, we start the rest uh, of the month uh, cycle. Um, this is pretty powerful energy, where the Sun with Mars conjuncts retrograde Mercury, okay, and Libra, so... Check it out if you get a minute. And where we go with your heart spread. Now, this is where your mind and heart is at in and around relationships right now. And I kind of use this as a baseline to see what you're doing on your own, kind of separate it a little bit if I can, what I'm asking spirit from this person that's on your mind. So this is more you energy here. And, you know, you're, uh, you have this page of cups, but I notice it's looking away uh, from the reading that, that always somehow has significance for me and you know pages are, are innocent pages are sincere pages are messengers and this is most certainly in this position going to be uh, someone that's in the mindset of wanting to give their love to someone um, so it's almost like sometimes it's hard to detach this energy uh, from the current person uh, and that, that could just be me uh, but, you know, my sense then would be, um, it, it, other than this is wanting to give your literal, uh, literally give your love, uh, and you would know this, to a person from the past um, here. Um, and, but this should be the energy of going into a relationship, uh, how I normally read it, uh, the early part of it, whether it's five years or five days. Um, but it is Mercury retrograde, and people do come back and... You know, uh, with a page is not real strong. It could be responding to a text and saying, in a literal sense, and saying, "Well, I love you too." You know, of course, I love you. Always loved you. Uh, but maybe it stops there. Uh, maybe it develops. You know, um, there's another way to look at that too. Like you really had your your head turned, but not in the sense of man, they're hot. In a sense of like, wow, like some like, you know, yeah, like maybe someone you've been dating a while, or someone from the past, or. And suddenly you feel it. It's like, oh my God, you know, okay. You really feel this gush, this page of cups, this gush of love that you feel. Wow. And your person comes in with the Ten of Cups. Now, what's interesting about this, guys, is this is their energy in and of themselves around love and relationships. And here, the baseline, trying again to detach it from any energy they have with a person, whether it be you or whatever. Um... So looking at it like that, um, it implies that it would you would think they're in a emotionally fully fulfilling relationship. It's about relationship, ten of cups. You know, it'd be nine of cups if they were if it was indicating that they were a self fulfilled person, which is a great energy I think to come into this reading with the heart spread. Compare the one and two. This is uh, you here, Aries, your first house. I can think of it as astrology. This is your seventh house here. So in that sense, you know, um, you may be kind of in the energy of looking back at this love from the past. And you might be on your mind, though, is this new person who is involved right now with their own love. And so I would say this right out of the shoot, Aries. Um, you're, there's an emotional inavailability here because it, with this past person, you may not be fully connecting. And usually a Mercury retrograde is a terrible idea. It should, should work to show you why it ended and how to grow from it and move on. 
um, not to go do it over because it kind of ends up becoming just a do-over and you most, very most likely end up in the same place particularly with page energy because this is young energy doesn't apply a lot of wisdom so it implies to probably haven't learned from that relationship and so then bringing in someone that's already emotionally involved with someone else uh, Aries then you know uh, again uh, neither of you are it's sort of like having to deal with real emo uh, emotional intimacy it possibly with your other person or with each other here death transformation card but this involvement with this person is beginning a new cycle for you and it this is the death and rebirth card so you'd look to Scorpio Venus is there now in your chart I have a Venus in Scorpio and Venus Scorpio will transform you around love and that could be what's going on you know, uh, maybe what this is indicating here, Aries, is you're going back to a past connection and that is involved on themselves emotionally right now in a relationship. And it, it seems like a good relationship too, but mostly fulfilling relationship. Um, and with the death card reacting to them, this is your energy. How do you react to them? How do you feel about them? Um, let's see how they feel about you. What did I say about the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, too? Um, that's interesting. So, um, with their, their feeling about you, the Nine of Pentacles energy of being self-contained, self-fulfilled, they're, they're, they're in a place in themselves. It appears to be a relationship, too, with another person where they feel very emotionally fulfilled. And then in, in relation to you, they're showing the bachelor in her energy. This is the bachelor energy. And maybe this is causing this transformation, you know. And emotionally, you're looking back to try to figure out what happened here. Six of cups. I'm clarifying your page of cups with the six of cups. I'm like, what are you trying to figure out here? Because you might figure it was a soulmate connection and you're like, how could it go wrong? It was the Six of Cups soulmate connection. And, you know, how am I ending up now in this death and transformation? You know, this is big energy, the major kind of, it's like you don't really get a choice. It's Pluto stuff usually going to be in your chart. Pluto to Venus, Pluto to the Moon, Pluto to the Angles. Um, um, that kind of energy. Or something in sinistry with Pluto pointing to that because it, it probably was a so if you felt it was a soulmate connection what well, was well here's the problem with soulmates is uh, they don't necessarily come for life you know I think we constantly we have lots of soulmates you know it's like pretty much everyone probably we're involved with is a soulmate I mean I think it's all orchestrated in the mind of God here and so what's really got you with this is they've moved on and they're very happy and they're not interested but you've just been stuck on them, looking back on them. Here it is, Mercury retrograde. Maybe your Venus is in Pisces, uh, I mean Scorpio. Maybe your Venus is being affected by one of the planets. It all depends on the degree it's at. You know, it could be uh, having a significant aspect of anything uh, almost. So let's now get advice from Spirit for you. This is very interesting. This transformation is going to bring you the world. This may not be easy for you, but it's going to bring you the world because it's going to make you whole. Your person over here is whole. Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles applies to me that not only are they in a, good, a relationship and feeling emotionally fulfilled, with the Nine of Pentacles shows me it's a, it's a balanced, a positive, solid relationship that they're in, meaning they're solid. Uh, and this is you becoming solid. Your advice from spirit towards your person is to become whole, and become solid, you know, to have the world, to be the world. And when, to end the cycle, here it's the last major kana, then you go to the full and you begin again. But now having transformed through this experience here and others, but this was the punch, this was the one, this was the sword that took you down, okay? <clears throat> but when you come out of it, I mean, death to the world, is that not moth to the butterfly? I'd say. Now, what's the advice for your person? Look at this person, Seven of Pentacles. Wow. 
Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles over the Seven of Pentacles. They, you may have had a conversation with them, and it was probably something like, but don't you miss me? Don't you love me? Or what about us? And I don't want to say they were cold about it, but they, they told you, like, why it's not going to be us. And it was a very solid answer. I, I don't love you. We're not compatible. Now I am very much in love and with someone committed to them, very happy and fulfilled. And, you know, I would never betray the person I love. And that's what you're getting an answer, which causes this death. But trust me, it's a good thing, man. And what is the universe advising now? It's really about you here, Aries. It's about the other person. There's always soulmate connection. But the very fact, take heart. Honestly, listen now. Take heart because it's strength beautiful energy, a blessing of strength comes to you from the universe in this position. Take heart because a person you made love to, a person you love so much, the person that you want back, why do you want them back? You admire their energy that got them to be whole and emotionally fulfilled and committed and solid. You love that. Now, you're going to get that with yourself, for yourself, because that's what you're attracted to. So try to really keep that in your mind, okay? It's a blessing. You're getting strength to accomplish this. As I have to pull back my stomach so the heart spread can uh, <laughs> form uh, and we get our outcome. You know, it's like I feel really positive. Uh, I, I usually uh, really hate to see the relationship not, you know, happy ending. Excuse me. <clears throat> but... Uh, this is, everything's karmic. This is how we roll. This is beautiful. You get the world. You got, it. you got the world. That's like a blessing. That's in your position of advice from the universe. You got strength in a position of advice from the universe. I mean, Leo energy in your chart, fifth house, could be significant. That too. But you need strength. You're going to have strength. You know, it's like not going to be as bad as you think. And the outcome is you will, this is what you're thinking, okay? I, mean, I should just title this reading very simply. You never thought coming in as this little page of cups, uh, clarified by the six of cups, you never dreamed in a million years that you could let that person go, emotionally let that person go. This is the outcome. You let them go. The four of cups is a fantastic outcome here in this uh, heart spread. It's successful. Uh, bottom of the deck, I have to note, is the ace of swords. So, you know, this conversation, kind of overall energy, that probably was crushing for you in a realization, maybe right during Mercury retrograde. When things hit during Mercury retrograde, it's so important. Uh, look at your chart, get a reading. It's worth it. If, if there's many uh, places now you can look at transit. Astro Seek is real easy. It'll give you some uh, something on transit energies. Um, but this is a beautiful reading. I mean, to, I... I feel like I've been there, and I'm going to tell you right now that almost to the moment where emotionally I finally let go of my person that's exactly like this. I thought I would never, ever let go. Emotionally, I could tell myself I let go. I had friends cut cords, but the moment I felt it let go, it got better. And it was, and it, and it is a, you don't feel like you want them anymore. You're not interested. Like really, like if they called you during Mercury Retrograde, you be, you understand now why it didn't work. I understood why it didn't work. And it's like, I knew, like, I'm not going to put myself through that again because, you know, um, it, I can see now that this doesn't, well, the energy doesn't work. And why uh, put, put yourself through pain um, out of some compulsive thing? And as soon as I got to that place, this is what you're coming to, Aries, um, um, then my life just got better, you know? I don't want to say it other than that. And I really didn't change the way I was doing anything other than and when I looked back and said, wow, you know, that's kind of what I did kind of let go of her. And then, boom, things moved along. So that's why I say it's a, it, the relationship here it may not work out, but you work out, Aries, very, very, very well. And from that position, you have anything you want. Thank you, guys. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs>
Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you, guys.